In this video, we're going to discuss the effect of an import tariff on a country's total surplus, and I'm going to show you with a graph how it leads to a deadweight loss. So let's take the market for steel production in the United States. And so let's say that the equilibrium price of steel is $562 a ton, and that the equilibrium quantity is 10 million tons. If we're just looking at the market for steel in the U.S., supply and demand in the U.S., without any kind of international trade, any tariffs, anything like that. Now we've got our consumer surplus, our producer surplus. Let's say now that the world price of steel is $350 a ton. That's cheaper than the equilibrium price in the U.S. So the U.S. is going to be a net importer of steel. It is going to import steel. So I'm going to show you now well, how, the, how it changes when we import steel. So with trade, and still we haven't introduced the tariff yet, I just want to show you when we introduce trade, we see that the consumer surplus is going to expand a lot. Okay, because the world price, we've got the world price of steel, it's 350, so that's this green line here. And so now the consumer surplus expands, and the consumer surplus, you have a shift from producers, some of this before, that is now shifted here. Now it's become blue, so there's a shift from producers to consumers, and so producers are worse off, but consumers are better off. But there's also this new triangle with trade that is an increase in the total surplus. So the U.S. is better off importing with trade, right? And so we've got the number of imports is this amount here, right? Because the, the demand at this point exceeds the supply uh, in terms of the U.S. producers, how much steel they're willing to produce. They're only willing to produce 4 million tons, but the consumers are demanding 16 million tons. So we have 12 million, 12 million imports, uh, 12 million tons of steel imported. Okay, so 12 million in imports. Now I want to show you what happens when we introduce an import tariff. Let's just say, for example, that the U.S. said, you know what, we don't like importing steel for whatever reason. These producers are, are being hurt, right? Even though the U.S. is better off because it's getting this section, producers have a strong incentive to complain and say, hey, listen, we're, we're having uh, people are being fired and we're, we're, our profits are being eroded and so forth, right? We can certainly understand where they would, they would take issue, even though as a whole, the U.S. is better off from trade. So let's say this import, there, there's an import tariff of $150 a ton on steel okay so what that is effectively going to do is it's going to raise the cost of steel in the u.s instead of it being where that you can get it at the world price of 350 a ton now now it's going to be and let, let me choose a, a, a different color here let's let's go you know what let's stick with green we'll stick with green so now oh that white okay so let's stick with green and we'll have a price of 500 this is the world price, WP, world price, plus the tariff. So if someone in the U.S. wanted to buy steel from, from the, on the world uh, market, it's not only going to cost $350, but now we also have this import tariff of $150, so the real price is $500. It's $500 a ton. And that $500, that's just the $350 world price plus the $150 tariff. Okay? So what is going to happen is before... We had we had this whole this whole triangle here, okay. Now so that would have been that would have corresponded to this, but now instead of that we're only going to get this for consumers, okay. So let, let, I'm going to stick with the same colors. So I'm going to use blue for consumer surplus. So this here, this amount is going to be our consumer surplus. That's going to be our consumer surplus. That triangle. So I'm just going to call it, we'll just abbreviate that CS. Now you could see that this tri triangle is smaller than that triangle. So consumers are worse off. But now producers, U.S. producers of steel, they're going to get this triangle. And this again, it's orange. So that is the producer surplus. So now you see that that triangle is, is larger. So the producers, they used, they had before with trade, they were shrunk to that tiny triangle there. But now they have captured some of the value that uh, consumers used to get, right? So they're benefiting so the U.S. producers of steel because obviously now there's going to be more steel purchased uh, from producers in the U.S. because it's become more expensive to buy on the world market because of this tariff. So producers are gaining, but they're gaining from consumers, right? So it's a transfer from cons U.S. consumers to U.S. producers. So that doesn't help. 
that doesn't how that doesn't affect the the total surplus right now you might be wondering well, what about this area here this area here before with trade and no th that was actually part that was actually part of the total surplus well what is going to happen now is a couple things so we take this amount here see this I'm gonna, it's, it's like a little square this amount so we just draw from from right here this point in this point we just draw you, you can draw all the way down here so we'll, we'll say that we'll call this 8 million tons and then the, we'll call this 12 million tons so the, the difference between from here to here that's now the number of imports that's now the number of imports so in this case it looks like so we went from 8 million to 12 million I'm just making these numbers up to show you but that difference 12 minus 8 that's 4 million imports right and before we had 12 million imports okay so this amount though this amount here see this this white amount that square that is revenue from the tariff so this is tariff revenue for for the federal government right so the US government imposed this tariff and so they're getting revenue from the tariff so this is this is tariff revenue this goes to the US government okay so the US government this square the area of that Okay, and that would just be the amount of the tariff, uh, which is $150, because it's just the difference between 500 and 350. So that 150 times 4 million, which is the number of imports, so that makes sense, right? That that would be the revenue raised from the tariff. Now, we have something else though. We ha we have something else, and I'm to choose which color here. Let, let's let's make it uh, red. Let's make it red. See this? Uh, oh, let me change that. So see this triangle here, this tiny little triangle, and then there's also a triangle here. So those those two red triangles, those are dead weight losses. Each of them is a dead weight loss. And if you're wondering what a dead weight loss is, if if this is the first video you've seen of mine and we, you, you you never heard of it before, think of it like this: it's a reduction in the total surplus. A dead weight loss is a reduction in the total surplus. So whereas when we went to trade, when we introduced free trade before we had any trade at all, we had an increase in the total surplus. Remember, total surplus is consumer surplus plus producer surplus. We had that whole triangle. That whole triangle was an increase in total surplus. But now, now we lost this area. Now, the white part is government revenue. So maybe the government does some great things with that. That depends on your opinions on how the government spends money. But the red triangles, they used to be part of this surplus here, and now they're gone. They're not consumer surplus. They're not producer surplus. They're not surplus for anybody, right? And so they are a reduction, a reduction in the total surplus. So even if you're fine with the notion of, hey, the government's getting this revenue and maybe they'll spend it to, to uh, provide, I don't know, job training programs or something like that, even if you're cool with that, we're still worse off with the tariff, right? The U.S., if we're just thinking, I'm not even thinking now here about other countries that would be selling steel or something like that to the U.S. Forget all that. Just thinking about the U.S. There is a reduction in the total surplus of the U.S. because these triangles, right, this triangle and that triangle, those two red triangles used to be part, they used to be part of the, the surplus. They were actually consumer surplus, and now they're gone. So why would we even have a tariff? Why You might be thinking, hey, if this decreases the total surplus, if this is so obvious, then why would any government ever impose a tariff? Well, look, the producers, the producer surplus increases, right? So steel producers in the U.S. would have a strong incentive to say, hey, listen, we're being hurt by these, these uh, uh, competition from uh, steel producers in other countries. We need this tariff to, to protect our dom domestic industry, our steel industry, to save American jobs and, and so forth, right? And, but when we think about it, on the net basis, right? We don't care just about producer surplus. We also care about consumer surplus. And on a net basis, we're actually reducing our total surplus with the tariff because although producers are being made better off, it's be at the it's coming at the expense of U.S. consumers, and so the U.S. as a whole is worse off because of the tariff.